I didn't even check anything, but uh, all right, so we're back. Oh, I had to pause it for a minute there because I was getting super late, but uh, I'll edit in whatever I have to edit in. But this is plan. Th this this is where I plan to you know end it off. So let's watch the rest of the cutscene and see what uh, plays out. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Oh, you! Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Oh, 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 nope. I'm so sorry. Damn. Looking good, Haley. Thank you. I'm not even going to try to fight with this. Uh 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 wow this was one hell of a journey bro oh my goodness I can't there's no way she got turned into oh, I don't even want to say it I had a really bad one lined up it wasn't even good Hey, Peter. <laughs> Suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, hmm. does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Ben, all of Harlem. But I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time. Yup, turning that down. Pretty sure that's the music by uh that that's this is the new song by uh Jaden Smith. My man, I've been it's funny, I, I recently started hearing him everywhere. Like this this man has just several different types of genres uh, across his music. It's crazy to me. But um Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the headphones off. Uh, I'm sure the song is phenomenal, but I want to talk a little bit because this is where I usually do a lot of my talking. Um, because you know you're gonna get the general idea of what I think about the game here, but uh, I'll do a full review uh, down the line, probably a week or so from now, once I get everything uh, once I get everything together. But Spider-Man Miles Morales, I'm gonna say this right now, right now. It is. Mo ironically miles better miles better than the original game you know like nothing against peter you know i like spider-man ps4 i really really do i loved that game through and through with all my heart but miles morales is something else it took everything we knew <laughs> about spider-man ps4 and gave it just so much it was just given flavor flair Love, care, bars. You know what I'm saying? Miles is a character that they took very good care of, as well as all of his other and everybody else. You know? What suit is that? Oh no, it's the same suit. Okay, I, I, I thought I was tripping. Um, no, they they gave Miles a lot. You know, they they put a lot on his shoulders with this whole situation, and he had to learn on the job, just like Peter did. But he. He, my man was put through a hell of a lot more than Peter was. I would say that. Uh, so I just, oh my God, from 
just all the representation to uh, all of the different characters that you just come to know and love and care about to all of it. It's just so well crafted. It's just so well taken care of that it was just it was it's so easy to instantly fall in love with this game. You know, I, I'm 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 genuinely in love with this game. All of the concepts from Miles himself having the Venom abilities and the camouflage ability to, uh, uh, what is it, uh, underground, having the craziest technology I've ever seen on enemies. That's that's inspired a hell of a lot for me right now. I'm not going to lie to you. That's so sick. You know, oh, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. <sighs> it's, uh, it's given us a lot. It's given us a lot. I think it's about to take us back to something. Oh, and Chadwick Boseman. I'm going to cry. Oh, no. Please. I, not again. I can't cry again. Oh, God. Sick as hell. Be greater. Be yourself. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, we got more. Hold on. Venom. Residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Roxxon Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, newly elected city... This is a very familiar lab. ...addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good. Circulatory system healthy. Um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but oh. he needs Carl. No, Green Goblin. But we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out now. Cool. Good to know we have uh we've got plenty more on the way. That's awesome. Um so uh continue what I was saying here. Uh it's very easy to fall in love with this game. It's very easy to fall in love with the characters. It's very easy to fall in love with the just all the representation and the different concepts and the the world and um just everything. They've given us so much. And not to say that um not to say that Spider-Man PS4 didn't give us any of that. It's, I'm not saying that at all, you know. I love Peter, love MJ, you know. that Yuri Lewenthal and Laura Bailey, what more can I ask for? You know what I mean? But, you know, it takes more than that, you know, Aunt May and everything. They they gave us a, they gave us a bit, you know, I guess, you know, um, Dr. Uh, Oct Octavius. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in Spider-Man PS4. However, uh... I don't know. There was just something so magical about what Miles offered that Spider-Man PS4 just couldn't touch for me and a lot of uh, other people that... I, I'm sure a lot of people could agree with me that, yeah, this is definitely single-handedly the best Spider-Man game that we could possibly ever ask for. It is unfortunate that it was played off as a kind of a standalone DLC as opposed to a full game, even though, you know, it is, it is a full game. Do not get me wrong. This is, this is more or less a pretty much a full game. There's, they offer a lot to do. And, you know, while you could go through this in a solid eight to nine hours, if you just sped through, uh, they offer a lot for you to do. And there's plenty of replayability and there's plenty of reason for you to go, go back and, you know, stick around and explore. They give you a lot to do outside of the story as well. But the story itself is so engaging, so immaculate, so well written that it's so hard to pull yourself from that. And I, all I wanted to do was just, you know, record, play this story, record, play this story. Like I'm during the middle of the day. The only time that I can record is at night. So during the day, I'm just sitting there, just itching, just ready to get back into this. This was the game I was just so ready to hop back into whenever I got the chance. But I actually had to force myself to be patient, which is something I don't usually have to do with games. A lot uh, nowadays, which is really sad, you know. It, there's a lot games. I, maybe it's just part of growing older, but uh, a lot of games lately don't do that for me. 
You know, there was very few games that made me feel the need to stay up late and go to town on them, just go ham and always want to play it and wake up and look forward to it the next morning. You know what I mean? And I I did feel that same way with about Miles Morales. I did always I, I look forward to the next chance that I got to play it. I was always just ready to record every time I got the chance. As soon as it hits eleven o'clock when my work time starts, I, I was I was ready. I was excited. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's um what do you want, JJ? What is he talking about? About this friendly neighborhood spider. Okay, whatever. I'm going to let you ramble, old man. I'm going to let you ramble. You can read it right there if you want. Uh, but yeah, it gave me that that magic that, that only like a little kid could feel, you know? And I'm very grateful for that. So, I love, I love this game. I love the way it came out. I love the way they did it. I love the way they handled it. And, um... Things were done right. Things were done right. We love a growing hero. It was very hard. Like, with Peter in Spider-Man PS4, the development was good. There was a lot of development between him, between MJ, between Aunt May and everything. Uh, mostly with Peter, though, obviously. But, to be frank with you, I think the the impact with Miles was so much... It was so... It, it was much better done. Or done much better. Sorry, I don't. I can't vocabulary. <laughs> I don't do that. Uh, it was done in a better fashion only because the Peter that we got, he's in his late 20s at this point when we first get to know him. So we already have a more or less almost fully developed Spider-Man. And, you know, there's nothing, there's no one to teach him anything or show him the ropes or anything like that. You know, we just learned on the job. He, he learned on the job and all of his development by the time that we got to him was done. And there was some more mild development between his relationship with his family and his loved ones and stuff. But for the most part, him as a character was already fully developed. But with Miles, uh, you know, he's he's the new Spider-Man. You know, he had to hop into this job by himself now with, uh, with Peter gone. He got a little bit of help from Peter with, uh, you know, the technology that offered him training and all the advice that he's given him and the, the teachings and stuff that he had to, you know, put to the test when push came to shove you know we we had a lot more learning to do with miles like was he did he you know he was he, uh, there wasn't there was rarely a time where he questioned if he was doing the right thing he knew he was doing the right thing it just really sucked that the right thing meant sacrificing a lot for him with you know his relationship with you know one of his best friends and whatnot you know you know sacrificing the secrecy of his identity almost with his his mom and uh, his roommate, you know, he had to go through a lot for his first real time on the job. I'm, I'm saying it right now, a hell of a lot more than Peter did. The entirety of men, the entirety of New York, the entirety. So much was at stake if Miles didn't do the job right. And Peter was nowhere to be found. I mean, man was busy. He was doing his thing. He was on his work date, whatever. But, uh, we, f I think we felt more for miles because, you know, it's, it really sucks to have to be thrown into such a tough situation with your best friend trying to blow up the city when she didn't even realize she was trying to blow up the city. She thought she was doing right, but she just wouldn't listen to reasons. So we had to take care of business the hard way only for her to get f fried. I can't believe they did that. I can't believe they did that to her. So, it was tough. It was tough. And that's why I think the the impact with Miles is so much better than it was with Peter. But, nonetheless, I love both games. Even if one is a little bit superior to the other, I love both games so much. They're both very close to my heart. Miles just a little bit more because he's a lot more relatable and he's a very just important character, you know, this day and age. He's very, very important and, um, you know, all that. But I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm very satisfied with what we got. This was a, this was a loaded 
very loaded game with lots to do, plenty of love, plenty of craft, plenty of content, plenty of replayability, and amazing gameplay and story that has satisfied me. Like, I'm not sitting here like, God, no! No, I, I absolutely need the next installment of this game. If I don't get that sequel, I'm, I'm going to suck a baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. I'm like, that was incredible. I'm very happy. And I am excited for the next installment. And I hope they put as much love and care as they did into this. Because that's going to be... If, if they do, it's going to be an incredible time. An incredible time. Uh, as far as the future of the series, I couldn't even take a guess on what that's going to look like. There's so many possibilities that... Who knows, you know? But a third Spider-Man... I'm Even though they, they called this a standalone... Uh, or maybe they didn't even call it a standalone. But either way... I'm... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just say this is the sequel. This is the, a very a perfectly done sequel. That's what I want to run with. I fully do believe that this was a well-made sequel that got its that got the it got the job done. It just improved on everything that the first Spider-Man just wouldn't have been able to do. I feel like I'm ragging on the first one a lot. <laughs> I will restate it as many times as I need to. That is a phenomenal game. But this one does it just a little bit better. Think about what a perfect sequel is. Shrek 2. Kingdom Hearts 2. Even though that's the third installment. No, fourth. No, third. What the hell? I'm not. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for even trying to bring Kingdom Hearts into that. That this is that that's mad. I, I'm don't please ignore me. Point is, this is a perfect sequel. Perfect sequel. Uh, I I don't think that it would have needed to be any lengthier. Any lengthier, and it would have just felt dragged out. Any shorter, and I'm sure a lot of people would have felt like they were ripped off. It was that perfect in between. Perfect in between. They gave us just enough story, just enough content, and a big old bang for our buck. And the most excellent, excellent start to the new generation of consoles. I got this on the PS5. Beautiful job. Done beautifully. <coughs> Everything looks so pretty. I can't get enough of this game. I can't, I, 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 I can't stare at it enough. There's just so much to look at and appreciate. That I can't get enough. Amazing head start for next gen consoles. Excellent. Oh, so I've talked my little heart out. Now I guess now we just wait for the credits because we already know there's going to be some crazy after credit scene that's just going to allow us to do everything else around the city that hasn't been done yet. Which or no, actually. What's probably going to happen is they, they might have a little after credit scene, but what's going to happen is it's actually going to send us back and then it's going to allow us to do New Game Plus because there's certain outfits and certain things that you cannot unlock until you do New Game Plus. But that is 100% something I'm going to be doing on my own time. That's not for y'all. <laughs> That'll be something that I probably mentioned in the review, though, uh, depending on how they do this. But, yeah. So, I guess we'll see how it plays out, but... Yeah, I really want to know what you guys think. If you guys you know want to talk about it, don't hesitate. I'm down to have a conversation about this in the you know section below. Let me let me know what you guys thought about Miles Morales as a whole. You know, good game, bad game, perfect sequel, worst sequel. Good start to the new gen. I don't know. I don't know. So sorry if I'm. Uh, if I start getting a little spacey here, it, it is 3 a.m. right now. <laughs> it is 3 in the morning. And, uh, boy, I probably have uh, quite a bit of editing to do with this, depending on how things go. Because I checked one of the parts, uh, I think it was part two. There was a terrible glitch. I don't know what happened. It cut frames, and I think some skipping happened. I don't know if that happened with the other parts. But I'm going to check it out and make sure nothing went bad. And if it did, well, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do at that point. 
but I'll take a look at it. Oh, I could, I could slow it down, or I can make it go faster. Wow, let's make it go faster. I want to see what's uh, want to see what's at the end of this. Cause the longer this video is, the more, <laughs> the longer it's gonna take for me to put things together. Okay, let's go ahead and skip it then. There we go. What do we got? What are we working with? Damn it, man. Congratulations! You have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You ha now you can now uh, revisit previously completed missions with Mission Replay in the pause menu or previous completed uh, FNSM activities in the app. You can now change the time of day in the options menu as well. You can start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty for added challenge or start a new game plus to restart with all your gear and skills and unlock new ones. Good luck, hero. So that's probably what I'm going to do on my own time. But hey, damn. Hey, Ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Ben. And uh... tell me about it. She saved my life, and yours, everybody's. She's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail, and he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was. And why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? See. Si. Te quiero. Right. So I guess that's gonna just about do it for my playthrough of uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I had a lot of fun, man. I love doing let's plays like this. Hey, App says the underground are messing with a billboard. They're still around, huh? Guess that makes sense. They set up a, they set it up in a perfect way where like the underground and the rocks on are probably it makes sense that they're still around, you know? Oh cool. I'll deal with that later. Yeah, but uh, for now I think Oh that's it. I've I've got nothing else for you guys here. Putting the controller down. That's it from me. So, um, I'm going to call it a day. Call it a night, rather. So, I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the absolute greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment and telling me everything that you guys thought about Spider-Man Miles Morales. Because I want to hear all about it. I want to hear your likes, your dislikes, your gripes. Your I said likes already. I'm very tired. Great news. Oh. Roxxon's prototype labs in Manhattan are kaput. And so are their reactors. Finally. With the labs and Krieger gone, seems like Roxxon's butt has been firmly kicked. I bet they'll be staying out of sight for a while. Good. Because I don't want to drain any more reactors. You said it, buddy. But I'm glad we were able to do this together. Me too. Until our next adventure? Which will probably be five minutes from now, right? <laughs> Deal. Did I also mention that I love their relationship? Because I love their relationship. He has a friend at all times with him. It's great.
Didn't even men- get to mention that. But I digress. I got to get out of here before freaking podcast starts or something. So I'm going to say it one last time. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and comment and telling me everything that you guys thought about Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, your likes, your gripes, your hates, your uh, indifferences. Tell me everything. And um, we'll talk about it down the line. So, on that note, I'm going to skedaddle on out of here. Thank you guys again. I hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of taking good-ass care. And I'll see you guys for my next Let's Play series later on. Take care, guys.